MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, game three of this four-game series between the Cleveland Indians and the New York Yankees. The Yanks try to lock down their 14th consecutive win. Coming up next... Domingo Herman will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy has really good stuff. I mean, he's commanding his off-speed pitches like he was in his last one. He threw the ball really well, picking up the win and allowing only two runs. If he brings that stuff back in this one, it could be back-to-back powerhouse performances. Stepping into the box, Lorenzo Pena. He will lead this one off today. Yeah. First pitch of the at bat. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And that'll manage to hop over the wall. It'll be at second to start the game on a ground rule double. Just a great approach at the plate right there. Takes that pitch on the outer half and goes with it. He clearly hit it well because it bounced right over the wall for a ground rule double. Stepping in now, Jace Peterson, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here, all you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. Dan, after that base hit, he's extended his hit streak to nine games, and you know he wants double digits. Oh, there's no question about it. Listen, anybody can get a nine-game hitting streak, but when you call your buddies or send out a text message and say, hey, I'm about in double digits, so nine games is nothing to sneeze at, but he'd love to get it to ten. Jose Ramirez started to go around, but it's a called strike, 0 and 1. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0 and 2. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location. Right down the middle, but he got away with it. On to first, and they get them both. for the Indians starting lineup. Dero, what's the key in trying to stop their opponent's winning streak? Well, Matty, you walk into this yard today and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that can work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles leaving this yard. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Francisco Lindor is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Here's a moment where you got to be a great teammate. Pick your buddy up who just grounded into a double play. I don't care what it looks like, single, gapper, homer, just get that guy in from third and get your team back motivated again. The set and the 1-1. One -one. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And there are our umpires for this one working balls and strikes will be Mr. Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone in the dirt and block behind the plate, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Two and two. Here it is. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Judges under it, and that's the third out. So they're able to get the runner to third in the opening half inning, but can't bring him around. Indians nothing. Yankees coming to the plate. We'll be right back on MLB Network. Mike Clevenger gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. It'll lead things off here in the bottom here half of the first. The the second second. Here it comes. Goal. Here's a drive out toward left center field. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will start the bottom of the first with a leadoff two-base hit. 
He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him? No way. Drives it to deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. So, fellas, this Indians ball club, as they begin play here this afternoon, they enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. Yeah, Maddie, this is why we do what we do. Two first-place teams going to go at it today. Don't know how this is going to shake out. Is this playoff baseball? Come early a little bit. Interested to see how the managers go about it. we got some stars out on the field today. Digging in now for the Yankees, David Rosario. He also had three hits in the win last night. First pitch on its way. Torres takes his lead at third with one away. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The one two. And he fouls this one off. This is flared right back over the mound. Only play will be the first as we'll see our first run score here as this is a one nothing ball game. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Past history with Mike Clevenger. He's gone three for 11. He also has one home run. First delivery to him on the way. Taken high and deep to right. Looking up is the right fielder. Still going back. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. Home run number three here in the early going. And this is now a two to nothing lead for the Yankees. start this one off. School is top of the frame and you answer with a bomb at the bottom of the first. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Luplo is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. It's the Yankees two and the Indians nothing. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. That's a ball. Stone cold take right there. That fastball. 
very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. The one-two. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. So here's Tyler Naquin. He's yet to get into the hit column in the series. 0 for 7. Now the pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Bases are empty. One man out. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Into right field, that's a base hit. Absolutely scorched that base hit. Worthy of some show track love, and as you see it, it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's definitely squaring a ball up. Here's Carlos Santana now. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Here's the 0 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Nope. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. Even count two balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks. And now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. At the plate now, Jordan Luplo, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. A runner on first with two away. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. On its way, the 0-2 pitch fouled away. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. One left for the Tribe. They're still down. It's 2-0. of the inning now and the next to bat the Dominican born catcher Gary Sanchez one of the keys to securing the win they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings first pitch coming here it is on a line that's a base hit into left field Absolutely scorched that base hit. Worthy of some show track love, and as you see it, it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's definitely squaring a ball up. Into the box, Clint Frazier. As he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Clevenger, who sometimes gets called Sunshine. He was a fourth-round selection back in 2011. Hey, when you come out of the middle round, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. And, boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now.
There's a line drive base hit to left field. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about it right now. He's swinging the bat really well, and after that knock right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at, so you can say, hey, he's going to hold calendar week with getting at least one base hit, so there's a lot of positives going on right now. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. He's able to take the ball the other way here. High and deep to right center. three-run shot to right center field. Sixth home run on the season for him. And that'll stake the Yankees to a 5-0 lead now. I know hindsight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Wow, and the hits just keep piling up for them. Take a look at the numbers here. That's already six hits, and we're only in the second inning. We'll see if they can keep this up as the innings go on. to the plate now. Labor Torres as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. One. one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. <laughs> Hit down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Strike two. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Pena is there and he has it for the out. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. But it's backed up well, so luckily there will be no advance. Time for a look at the Cleveland Indians' defensive setup today. And this team's lucky enough to have their gold glover play shortstop. The captain of the infield. And the offense knows if the ball's hit in his direction, you could pretty much take the right-hand turn and go back to your dugout. Not only the routine ones, but the highlight reel ones as well. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. In there, a base hit. And there's out number two. Looked to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the play. To be honest, that just can't happen. Digging in. David Rosario, the American League's Silver Slugger Award winner at first base a season ago. Has a look, now the pitch. Lifted in the air out to center field. Nick wins under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Another look at the big blow for the Bombers. A three-run home run. We've played two. Five-nothing New York. Top of the third set to get underway. And in to hit next, it'll be the catcher, Kevin Pluecki. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. The wind up and the 0-1. 
Ah, and he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already and there's your first out. Didn't mess around much in that no, at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty well, impressive, man. I really like a pitcher that yeah. trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. In now, Lorenzo Pena. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. That Lorenzo Pena is out number two here in the third inning. Ready for another chance? Jace Peterson. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Mancini makes the catch for out number three. Down in order go the tribe. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Aaron Judge. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. No balls and a strike to count. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Hit out towards second. There's Peterson. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So with one away, time for a check of the American League Central Division as you get a look there at where the Indians find themselves in the race. Here's Miguel Andohar now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. The 0 1. Hit on the ground to third. Right to Ramirez. And that's the second out. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Super important situation right here for the pitcher to go 1 2 3. Get back in the dugout, regroup. He struggled early, but if he can knock out this 1 2 3 inning, I think he can right the ship. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. And that's through for a base hit. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. So now to the plate, Clint Frazier. And it's fouled away. A base hit in his first trip. left side fielded cleanly on to second for the force out and the side is retired the Yanks leave one but they hold a five nothing lead all set for the start of the inning and standing in is the veteran third baseman Jose Ramirez
First pitch of the at bat. Hey. The wind up and the 0 1. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Oh, man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Lindor is a big threat in a matchup like this. He's got a ton of pop against right-handed pitching. Yeah, I think because of his approach. Nope. He's not a dead pull guy. You want to try and sneak a piece of cheese in or hang something over the heart of the plate, he's going to absolutely crush it. But anything going away from him goes right into his bat path. Line hard to center field. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. The throw into second. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. The first baseman, number 44, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One all pitch is a curveball that looked good from here but it's two and oh you can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now in that first AB he went down on strikes in the dirt and now let's see and he's going to make it into third base now as I believe that will be scored as a wild pitch that can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third you have to be sure you can make it he was there and now he's only 90 feet away. is in there for strike one no runs four hits no errors to this point for the Indians out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats now the three and two pitch sent in the air out to straightaway central catch made in center here comes the runner from third and they're going to get on the board here with the sack fly, but there's still work to be done down five to one. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. One and oh the count. And the pitch. Can't connect there on the breaking ball. One and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One run, four hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Fastball and it's strike three called. Oh, that looked inside, but instead it's the third out of the inning. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Yankees five and the Indians one. 
ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder, Trey Mancini. The last that bad, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Now with the plate, Jose Iglesias, one for one after a single this first time up. Here's the pitch. Weak grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Hit in the air to center field. Nick wins under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now Coming to the plate now, Labor Torres. A hit in two tries for him so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Line drive base hit. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. The relay, the tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They lead this one, though, five to one. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Indians' offense with Cleveland's manager, and he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind, so the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. All right, Heidi, thank you. Reined in. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1-2. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. A bouncer to the left side, and that's through for a hit. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. Standing in now, Jordan Luplo. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. And a relay home, and not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. Boy, you know, in today's game, d row pitches are being taught high velocity. Go get ahead, strike one. Boy, that didn't work in that situation. Yeah, and guys have such put-away pitches, Dan. You don't want to go super deep in the count. Find yourself with two strikes on you, and here comes a nasty slider or a nasty split finger. He had an approach right there. He wanted to use an ambush tactic, and it worked. Kevin Ploiecki is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside, 1-0. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Up next for Cleveland, the left fielder, Lorenzo 
Pena. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Lorenzo Pena. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. From the stretch, runners on the move for second. Curve ball bounces, and this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Into right field, that's a base hit. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. At the plate, Jace Peterson. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Down the third baseline. Torres at the back. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Digging in now, DJ LeMayhew as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and he pops him up. Rizzo ranging into the outfield and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop up to start the inning. At the plate, David Rosario. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Here's big Aaron Judge. That's a strike to throw down. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out. And he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. Pitch is mishandled behind the plate, and it bounces away. And he'll make it to third here on what will likely be ruled a passed ball. Yeah, and as we take another look at this, this pitch is on the outer half of the plate. The catcher doesn't know whether to backhand it or not, and it just skips off his glove for the pass ball. He'll be upset with himself about that one, no doubt. Good opposite field power here, taken high and deep to right. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's safe. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one hop the wall off the tracks, and he cruises into second with an RBI two-bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. Comes the Indians manager to make that slow trip to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. James Point is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 50, James Point. Into the box now, Miguel Andujar, as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. No hits to this point.
from the belt. Kicks and deals. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. Runner at second here with one man out. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Looking up is the left fielder. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. So a two-run shot to left center. Fourth home run here in the early going as it's now a six-run ball game. So that was the third home run for these guys today. Yeah, Dan, this doesn't make sense. It's absolutely freezing outside. The last place you want to be is in a batter's box. And this offensive team is driving balls out of the yard. This is what's crazy about the game of baseball, d -Row. You would think under these conditions, it would be all in favor of the pitchers. That has been anything but the case so far in this one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Behind 0-2 now. Man, the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front. Couldn't keep it fair. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Now batting. The right fielder. Wait. Frazier. Now batting, Clint Frazier. He's one for two in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Takes this the other way to right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Through five innings, it's the Yankees eight and the Indians two. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And set to go is the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016. Just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup. And Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Wow, not sure what the pitcher was thinking. Serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing, putting himself into scoring position to start off the inning. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1 0. Ball two now. Tough situation for him right here. I mean, he's got an open base, so he doesn't have to give in to this guy. But there's definitely danger looming on deck, so you can't just completely work around him either. Two balls and a strike to count. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. The first baseman, number 44, Anthony Rizzo. Now to the plate, Anthony Rizzo. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. One out and a runner on second base. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. 
And there are two away now. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time. And, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Digging in, Tyler Naquin. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and a borderline call, Maddie. I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this AB. See how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. Owen won the count from the belt. Kicks and deals. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Indians leave one. Still eight to two. Bottom of the sixth inning on its way, but first, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Trey Mancini. Here comes the first pitch. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. The 1-0. Big swing by Mancini now, and this is carrying well to left. And it's gone as they add still another. So a solo shot down the line in left, his second home run of the game, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Iglesias will lay off a slider too low, ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Hit hard towards center, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So the nine hole hitter comes through with the base hit, and that brings up the top of the order now with nobody out. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders square, his hands inside the baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for a knock. To the plate now, Torres. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. He's 2 for 3 and looking for more here. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone, or you're going to ground into a double play. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And, hey, a strikeout always works, too. At the plate now, D.J. LeMayhew lifted into center field. Nick Wood's under it. 
play and that's the second out of the inning. Up next for the Yankees. The first baseman David Rosario. Standing in David Rosario. He singled his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. So it's a two run shot to right center. Home run number nine on the year as they push this lead up to nine now. Here and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Aaron Judge will be the first one to greet him as he'll start fresh here with the bases empty following the home run. Now the pitch. Line drive to center field. Naquin will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Yankees 11 and the Indians 2. Zach Britton will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. So now Carlos Santana. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. One ball, no strikes to count. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at 1-1. One one. Britain is exactly what you want out of a bullpen arm. It's a rare occasion that anyone squares him up. He doesn't give up a lot of hits, and when he does, they're almost always kept in the yard. Matty V, there are two keys to being a good relief pitcher, and always remember these. One, limit the base on balls. Two, keep the ball in the ballpark. You can't defend a walk. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. Into the bullpen and gone. Oye Como va. It's a solo home run for Carlos Santana. First home run of the campaign for him as it's now down to an eight run ball game. Well, they're not there yet, but a solo homer to lead off the inning will do wonders for any team's confidence. We'll see if the next few batters can continue the comeback effort here. Just need to string some good at bats together now. In now, Jordan Luplo as he grounds one briskly to short. Iglesias is up with it on the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. And here's the catcher, Kevin Ploiecki. One run in and one gone so far this inning. First pitch of the at bat. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Hard 
hard hit ball to second. Torres picks it up. And there's out number two. The left fielder, number 29, Lorenzo Pena. Digging in, Lorenzo Pena. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Heading after it is Judge. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. So one run on one hit, which was the home run. No errors and no one left on base. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. It's the Yankees 11 and the Indians 3. Last half of the seventh here, and striding forward the designated hitter, Miguel Andujar. First delivery to him on the way. Takes this the other way to right, and a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. The game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96 mile an hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off speed. So far, two for three in this one. Come set and the 0 1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. That gets through for a base hit. He's now three for four in this one. Wow, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D. Row. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. Clint Frazier is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. First and second here with nobody out. On the ground is short. This could be two. One there. On to Rizzo at first, and they get them both. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Ready now, Trey Mancini. He's two for three and looking for more here. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. One left for the Yankees. They're still in command, however. It's 11-3. In now, Jace Peterson is working on a one for three thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he can do right there, Dan. You know, Dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Jose Ramirez is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Nobody out, runner on first. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Two and one to Jose Ramirez. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. Count even at two and two. Has a look. Now the pitch. Grounded weakly to the left. And this is going to work out for him. It's an infield single to make it first and second now. 
And that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Rip down the line. Indian shortstop behind one and two in the count. None out, runners at first and second. Fouled off. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. At the plate, Anthony Rizzo, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing and two. Ready on 0 and 2. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non competitive off speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Struck him out, so he's set down on strikes for the second time today. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. Into the box, Tyler Naquin as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Now the 2-1 pitch. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Indians strand a couple. And it's not going to help him. It's 11 to 3. Digging in to try it again. Jose Iglesias. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Ah, went after the high win there, a swing and a miss. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. At the plate, Torres. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. Belted high in the air out to left. Back on it is the left fielder. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to left. Fourth home run here in the early going as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Guys, you believe what we're seeing here today? With six home runs so far, this lineup is turning in a performance for the ages at the plate. Yeah, man, I mean, you don't see this very often, D-Roll, when it's cold and 
chilly like this, wind blowing in a little bit, but we're still seeing a lot of home runs. Yeah, Dan, I can't explain it. Let's just tip our hats to both offenses right now because they came to play. Moving traffic against this cold weather, not easy to do. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A.B. in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never, and I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A.B. of this game, so if I'm going to keep this streak alive, going to have to do it right now. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Here's the 0 1 pitch drilled on the ground to short that's through a base hit and he's got his third hit of the game. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues middle cut his eyes lit up right there this pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. Reggie Prado comes on to pitch now hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. And that's in there, base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you. As a pitcher, are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, Dero. You're so concerned about it on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even though it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. The 0-1 on its way. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Racing back the left fielder. Gone! It's a grand slam. So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one. His second of the game as the blowout continues. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. Yes, he'll fall behind here as he goes after a fastball that might have been out of the zone. It's strike one. Still only one out in the inning. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. Home run number three here in the early going as they just continue to pour it on here. I almost can't believe I'm saying this, but that was the eighth home run of the game for these guys. How about this offensive performance? Yeah, Matt, you know what, Hero? We got up this morning for this day game here. We were expecting a high scoring game, but boy, we haven't been disappointed. Yeah, you take the temperature of a lot of guys in the league. They definitely will tell you they see the ball better at, in the daytime than they do at night. Case in point today, ball was jumping off the bats of both lineups. Shane Green enters now in a mop up roll as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. To the plate now, Clint Frazier. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Now a half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two. A 
swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. That's not an at-bat he or his hitting coach are going to be happy with at all. It's bad enough to go down on three pitches, but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Ready with the 1-0. Pitch popped up. Rizzo is under it near the mound. And that ends the inning. Attack on six more as they just continue to turn it on in this one. Ninth inning coming up. The Yankees are out in front, 17 to 3. All set to start the ninth in this one. And digging in is the DH, the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. And that last at that when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Rosario is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. Up next for Cleveland, the right fielder, Jordan Cleveland. Stepping in, Jordan Luplo. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat on its way, and he fouls this one off. Hold strike, 0 and 2. One out, nobody on. And he struck him out, so he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Striding in for the Indians, Kevin Ploiecki. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. First delivery to him on the way. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And there's a called strike two, as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game. The offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Last strike now for Cleveland. Count remains at 0-2. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. A 1-2 and two count to the Indians catcher. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Hit hard down the right field line. But that's a foul ball. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. Another 1-2. Grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. and two. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. And now this will be the tenth pitch of the at-bat. For short, hit hard. Right to Iglesias. Throw on to first, and the Yankees will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Hey, I've given up trying to predict where this amazing streak's going to end, so I'm just going to congratulate them and say, well done. 17 to 3 today. New York jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Domingo Herman wins his third of the season. Mike Clevenger allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. Zach Britton takes the rare three-inning save, his first of the year. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time.
17 minutes. Our paid attendance here at Yankee Stadium this afternoon, 47,309. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely.